In this video, we will show you how to get started with your Descent T2 transmitter and a Descent MK2i or MK3i dive computer watch. In this video, we will be using a Descent MK3i. To begin, you'll need to have your Descent T2 properly attached to your tank or to a high pressure hose configuration. Please see your tank's owner's manual for help. Now let's pair your new Descent T2 to your watch. For help with this process, see our FAQ linked below. To begin, we recommend your watch be on the latest software. For help, visit support.garmin.com and select the Software tab. On your Descent MK3i, press and hold the Up button. Use the Up or Down buttons to highlight dive setup. Press the Start Stop button to select it. Depending on your watch, locate and select either air integration or dive network and air integration. Select transmitters and then add new. Before you select your transmitter, take note of the last two digits of the ID. If there are multiple transmitters, match the number with the number printed on the side of the unit. If your transmitter is not found, you will need to pressurize your Descent T2 to enable the pairing broadcast and enable the pairing mode. There are two ways to do this. The first option is to attach the Descent T2 to the first stage of your regulator and pressurize. The second option is to use a coin to loosen the battery lid by 270 degrees. Then, twist the battery cap back to the right to tighten it. The unit will beep, indicating it has turned on. This will last for two minutes. Once you have selected your transmitter, select My Tank. Then, enter in the last two digits from your transmitter's ID. To view or change your transmitter details, select the connected ID number. In this menu, you can view the units, pressure, tank volume, name, and more. When using the Descent T2 with others, we recommend changing the name for ease of use. To do so, scroll down and select Public Name to create your Descent T2's name. After entering in the name, select the green check mark. To add additional transmitters, known as divers, select Add New and follow the steps from before. Now that we have all of the Descent T2s paired, let's talk about how we can view the transmitter information while in a dive. Once you begin your dive, you can press the Down button to view the additional data screens. Any paired and nearby Descent transmitters will display a gauge for reference. There are several dive shortcuts that are always enabled. The first is by double tapping the light button to enable the flashlight. To return to the main dive screen, press and hold the back button. To set a compass heading, press the down and start stop button at the same time. Use the back button to exit these functions. Some shortcuts are only enabled when a tank pod is paired. One of these is the Divers page. Hold the Down button to access this shortcut. Holding the Up button will bring you to the Diver dashboard. Holding the Start Stop button will bring up the Subwave Messages screen. And that's it. Your Descent T2 transmitter is now paired to your watch. For more help, please visit support.garmin.com.